Hello friends. So today we're going to be fancy. I'm going to drink. I'm going to start off with drinking mineral water. It's kind of gross, but we fancy today because um, last week, I passed uh, my three-month mark of being seizure-free, and that's a pretty awesome milestone for me because my, I guess, like, my time frame in between seizures is usually two months, and I hit three months, so I'm going to take another swig of this. And if I burp, I'm sorry, it's it's just all those minerals just working. It's, it's magic in my body. Now I'm going to take a normal swig of water to take that taste out of my mouth. I know we're fancy today, but I still love that high quality normal refrigerator H2O. So let's get into it, you know. It's been such a wild three months. So at the beginning of this three months, I broke my arm um, during a tonic-clonic. And last week I had a, an, an appointment with my orthopedic surgeon. And he told me my arm was fully healed. Yep. I'm going to show you this beautiful scar. My arm is fully healed. Oh, gosh. Here are the minerals working a little bit. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so my arm is fully healed. minerals and then after that appointment I had an appointment with my occupational therapist and she just gave me some strength training exercises to do so now that's what I'm <coughs> all right for <laughs> excuse me so my occupational therapist gave me some strength strength training exercises to do so now that's what I'm doing and it's honestly pretty awesome because I'm going to get swole. Wow, you can still see the bruising. Yep. So you can still see the bruising on my arm. But I'm going to pump these guns, man. So yeah. So three months seizure free is like super awesome because here in Arizona, when you hit your three month mark of being seizure free, you are okay to drive. I'm still like, I still have that um, anxiety to drive. So I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. So I might just like take a little baby drive just like around the neighborhood just to just, just feel the road, you know, just, you know, like I can, I can drive. I, I'll just drive around the neighborhood, experience it, and just come back home and chill. Ooh, and then also, like towards the end of this three-month journey, I was able to work on the Purple Pumpkin Project with my epilepsy empowerment group, and that was super awesome. Just like the Purple Pumpkin Project was something that I was really looking forward to like this whole year and it finally came here, you know, and I was able to experience it with people that I truly care about, people that I've been talking to for 
like months over Zoom. And I met a few of them in the skin and it really meant a lot. Um, I have, I have a whole like paragraph that I wrote on my advo advocacy Instagram page and you can check that out in the description below. And then also more amazing, um, news. I got a call from scheduling to schedule my next, um, procedure. <clears throat> and I believe my next procedure is the stereo EEG. So you get like, it's like a, it's an EEG, but a little more evasive. So instead of like, mm, how do I explain it? You know how like with the EEG, it's like the little cup, it's like a cup with a wire. So I have like that little cup, but I also have like a giant needle going into my brain. And then I'll be going into like the EMU and um, when I have a seizure in the EMU, uh, the needle will, I guess, be sh shaking where, wherever my seizure originates. And my medical team will see where my seizures are originating. And then six months after that EMU stay, I will um, be told what the next steps are when it comes to like surgery, you know, like, are they going to take that uh, damaged piece of brain out? Are they going to laser it out? Am I going to have a VNS? Am I going to have an RNS? Uh, it's just the next step to uh, this whole journey. But yeah, so like these three months have just been an intense um, journey of like just growth really and I'm sure you could see it like when you scroll through uh, my videos like I have a video that says oh I just had a seizure uh, during a tonic-clonic and then I think the next one is me um, I guess going into like a really dark place and I believe that one is like um, I I have a mental breakdown on camera on camera and then I have like thank like thank you I think all you guys I think everyone and then the the videos totally changed like I um, I focus more on like thumbnails and I focus more on like wellness and like helping, helping you guys out. And it's just like, like a metamorphosis that I've experienced throughout these three months. And I've been really grateful for that. Oh, so I'm going to take a, another swig of this fancy water mineral water man because it's just been such a journey <sighs> it hasn't been easy but i know if i can get through this if i can get through these obstacles i know you can get through any obstacle that you face and just remember you guys every obstacle is an opportunity for growth and once you think about your obstacles like that, it completely changes your mindset. So when you're faced with an obstacle and you think, this is going to help me grow, you just overcome them, you keep moving forward, and you keep growing. And that is, and that's what's going to help you. That's going to help you so, so, so much. Cheers. It never gets better, man. You never get used to it. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say during this kind of like this three-month update. And 
I really do cherish every single one of you guys. I love you all. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. I mean, the, we've experienced the highs and we've experienced the lows together. And I really deeply cherish every single one of you. I'm so excited for what the future holds for us. And I know, or how do I word this? Oh gosh, no, no, no. The words just totally left my mind. And I pray for just like days, weeks, months, and years of seizure freedom for you guys. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of sharing these three months with you all. Thank you. I love you all. Peace out.